Welcome to Ashesi class of 2025. My name is Nicholas Koblatali and I'll be the one taking you through principles of design, computer-aided design. To lay the groundwork for this course, I'll be showing you the Autodesk Fusion 360 interface. There are seven main components of the Autodesk Fusion 360 interface. These are the application bar, the main toolbar, the browser menu, the navigation bar, the view cube, the canvas menu, as well as the timeline. The application bar is the area from this point all the way to this side. It comprises of the data panel. The data panel allows you to see your files that you have saved in the Autodesk Fusion 360 cloud. It also helps you to manage the people that you are working with. And there are a number of icons here that can help you to interact with the data panel. You can use this one to synchronize between your computer and the cloud. And you can use this to save, to search for files that you have worked on previously. And you can use this to close the data panel. We also have the file menu that you can use to create new designs, open existing designs, export your designs, 3D print your designs, share and then capture images of your design, etc. We also have the save menu here that can help you to save the files that you are working on. And we also have the undo and the redo bar that can help you to correct mistakes whilst you are working. Each design you are going to be working on in Autodesk Fusion 360 will be in a tab. So this is the tab that we are working on and the name of the design as at now is Untitled. You can close a tab by pressing on this button and you can create a new tab by pressing on the plus button over here in the application bar. The application bar also has the extensions menu where you can click and then install different types of extensions that can enhance your experience with Autodesk Fusion 360. We also have the job status menu. This can help you to know whether you are online or offline. And then we have notification menu over here for receiving notifications from Autodesk Fusion 360. We also have the help menu over here. The help menu helps you to seek support and it also helps you to learn from the Autodesk community. And then we have the account menu here that you can use to work on your account and then sign out if you want to sign out for somebody else to use your computer. The main toolbar comprises of a number of options. The first one is the drop-down menu that allows you to switch between the various workspaces Autodesk Fusion 360 allows you to use. The first workspace is the design. Second one is the generative design workspace. The third one is the render workspace. This is for rendering. The next one is the animation workspace. We also have the simulation workspace the manufacture workspace, as well as the drawing workspace. The main toolbar has five main options at the top. The first option is the solid menu. Second one is the surface. Third one is the mesh. And then the sheet metal, as well as the tools. The solid option here allows us to do general modeling. So it also has a number of options here that we are going to study into detail. We have the create drop down menu here, the modify menu here as well, the assemble menu, the construct menu, inspect, insert, etc. We also have the surface menu. The surface menu can be used for surface modeling. That is modeling on the surface of other models. And then we have the mesh menu. The mesh menu can be used for mesh modeling. And then we have the sheet metal menu. The sheet metal is used for modeling various sheets of material. 
For example, if you've been given a sheet of metal and then you have been asked to convert it into the shape of a vehicle, you can use the sheet metal menu for that purpose. The tools menu has a number of tools that are very useful for you in your journey into Autodesk Fusion 360. We have the make menu that can help us to 3D print our model and then request codes from companies that can help us to make what we have modeled. And then we have the next menu. We have the add-ins. The add-ins basically are softwares written by others that we can use to create different models to our specifications. And we have some utility menus over here for managing materials. We have the measurement menu here, as well as the inspection menu. The inspection menu can help us look very carefully and do analysis on the various designs that we are going to be working on. And then we have the selection tools over here. And all of this form part of the tools menu. The next part of the Autodesk Fusion 360 interface I would like to talk about is the browser menu. The browser menu allows us to do a number of things. It comprises of a number of drop down menus. So the first one is the document settings. And under the document settings, we can be able to change the unit that we are going to be working with. In our case, we are going to be using millimeters. And then we have the named views. The named views allows us to view what we are modeling from different sides, standard sides of the model. For example, we can view this model from the top. We can view it from the front. We can view it from the right. And then we can also view it from the home menu. So all these are the named views and allow us to see our model from different points of view. And then we have the origin. The origin allows us to see the beginning point of the various axes and planes that we have in this diagram, in this uh, modeling. So we have the O, which represents the zero origin. We have the X origin, the Y origin, Z origin, and we can also find the origin of the various planes that we are going to be drawing into. We also have the motion studies menu over here. So what I did here is an assembly. And if we want to study critically the various interactions between these gears, we are going to be using the motion study. Now, this is once again an assembly and it is made up of things that we call joints. So the joints are these points where we interface these gears to the base of this uh, model. And the joints that we have here can be analyzed or seen individually over here in the joints menu, which forms part of the browser. And then we have the sketches. Whenever you want to draw a 3D model, you first have to start with a 2D sketch. So the sketches menu under the browser helps you to see all the various sketches you might have done whilst you are modeling your 3D model. And then we have the components view. In the components view, you can see the various components that you have put together for example, to create this assembly. The bar below here helps us to do two things. The first one is it helps us to analyze our motion study, which I spoke about earlier here. And it also has the timeline. The timeline is basically all the actions you have taken to arrive at this expected model. So you can use this bar to move between the various actions you have done from the sketching to all the modeling to the linking of the various components till you get to the end. Let us now talk about the navigation bar. The navigation bar is the area located over here. The navigation bar allows you to orbit your 3D model. 
It also helps you to look at your 3D model from some specific points. And it also has the pan menu that can help you to grab your 3D models and move them around the canvas. It also has the zoom features that you can use to zoom in and zoom out your model. And when everything might have been lost on your screen, you can use the zoom to fit to bring everything back to where how they were at the very beginning. We also have the display menu. The display menu allows you to make changes to how you want to visualize your 3D model. For example, you can make your model to appear just like wireframes, or you can make your models to appear like they have, they are shaded with all the edges and all of that showing very beautifully. And then we can use this menu for changing the grid and snaps, which is basically the boxes that we have here in our 3D model. And then we also have the various viewports over here, and we can use this menu for changing that. Another thing I would like to talk about is this view cube over here. The view cube allows us to navigate between the various standard viewpoints in our model. You can click on the home viewpoint over here and it will bring your model to its home position. You can as well view your model from the front. You can also view it from the top. You can view it from the right side. You can also view from the bottom, etc. So the view cube allows you to view your model from various points of view. It is similar to the named views that we have in the browser menu. The last thing I would like to talk about is the canvas menu. Now all the area that your model will be fitting in is called the canvas. So all of this area is the what? The canvas. So we have the canvas menu and the canvas menu allows you, it's like a, a subset of some of the menus that you can be getting from the toolbar over here. But it allows you to do a lot of things very quickly without going to the main toolbar. So for example, if you want to extrude, extrude belongs to the solid menu, which is this one, but it, it is given to you over here in the canvas menu. To get the canvas menu, all you have to do is to right click and then you'll be able to have this menu and it interacts with the, what you are drawing and it anticipates what you are going to do and it will provide you with the menus that it thinks are useful for what you are modeling at the very moment.